Envy and Jealousy, Dear Alexander, 24. Envy, defined as a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Jealous, defined as a feeling or showing an envious resentment of someone or their achievements, possessions, or perceived advantages. You're used to fighting against the feeling of envy and jealousy. It often leaves a bitter, unpleasant taste in your mind's tongue when it takes over your senses. Interacting with your envy and jealousy usually results in disdain and guilt. Now you realize you must confront it and make peace with your envy and jealousy. How? Make a list of people you're envious about. Figure out what type of people are you envious of. What are the commonalities they share? What is it about them that you envy? AKA, what is it that you think they have that you are envious of? You soon realize that envy and jealousy merely reveal the virtues and qualities you admire in other people that you have not yet made a part of you. Quote, in your envy lurks the beginnings of a structure of ambition. You wouldn't be envious of something if you didn't believe that that was of value that you should possess. So you lay out your envy and you delve deep into it and find out, well, here's what I want. Because remember, you're envious because you see other people who have what you want. Good. Now, all of a sudden, you know what you want. Well, that's useful and a little frustrating because you might see that it's also a distance from you. You don't likely to be so envious if you weren't hiding from yourself for what it is you truly want. You might be scared to admit it because once you admit it, you know what you want. And so you know when you're failing. By hiding what you want from yourself, then you can hide to some degree that you're failing. It's no wonder people do that. It's a defense mechanism against feeling vulnerability and negative emotion. End quote. Jordan Peterson. Your envy and jealousy reveal where you're falling short where you're falling short as a person. And that's okay, because now you have an aim. In fact, you have multiple aims to pursue. Now you can take control of your envy and jealousy instead of it driving you into dark, debilitating mental state of resentment and discontentment. How you deal with your envy and jealousy is by admitting it, confronting it, and accepting it. Now you've admitted where you're failing, you can use it to fuel you towards betterment. Now you're not hiding from yourself as you move forward towards amelioration of your endlessly fractured being.